Hey guys, I wanted to talk about a few different things today. Uh, number one, since it's winter, going into uh, hibernation, probably not going to be getting as good a footing. So now's as good a time as any to go ahead and let's lock down our standstill throwing. Now what comes up a lot is the belief that a standstill throw would be uh, not moving your feet and just throwing, which is difficult and has no real benefit. What I guess we could call it would be just a one-step throw. So when we reach back, foot comes up a little, and then we're going to slide it forward. So I, I just moved it forward a little bit. So if I'm throwing like this, okay, so what I'm going to do is from this position here, I'm going to leave the disc against my right pack. I'm going to come back to here so that my arm would be pointed at the pole. And I'm just going to release it as I come through. There's no trick to it. It's the leverage of spinning the disc from the right pec, extending it forward. Something I've been talking to a uh, guy Joshua on email about. If you're squeezing your disc, let's say you're in a power grip. There's a really important time to squeeze on the disc because your wrist is going to bend as it comes into the right pec. You don't want to squeeze before the bend. You have sort of a, a limit on what your hand can squeeze. And if you start your limit back here and you're gripping really hard, as you come through and bend your wrist, your limit lowers. You can't squeeze as hard when your forearm is bent because a big part of your grip strength comes from when your arm is straight. You bend your forearm like this and try to squeeze. You can feel that you don't have the same grip strength. I've got a hand squeezer. It's unbelievable how weak your grip is trying to hand, use a hand squeezer when your wrist is in an angle like that. Easy when it's straight. So what we want to do is we want to wait to squeeze till after the wrist is going to be extended. So squeeze late and that's going to be what gets you that disc ejection afterwards. So now I'm going to do the same drill, right pec. I'm going to give it a hard pulse squeeze. Have my back right pack I wouldn't even extend backwards. Alright so now you guys have seen the right pack. I'm able to get a lot of my distance just from normally throwing. Uh, just by using this mechanism, okay? It doesn't take a lot of body. It doesn't take a lot of X-step. 